Welcome back to another Trucker Tim Uncut video. I hope you've all had an awesome Christmas with your family and friends. And if you received any Trucker Tim merchandise, hope it was up to spec for you. Uh, I've had lots of people tag me on Instagram on their stories with all their merch on. It's been awesome. I've shared some of those on the Instagram story as well. It will soon be the new year. I cannot wait to get pushing into 2024. I cannot wait. I'm just sitting at home now, just like waiting for 24 to start so we can get all of the projects done that we've got on this channel. We need to get this sorted out, stripped down. I'm gonna give you a little update on the four series in a minute. Don't look, don't look. Give you a little update on that in a minute. Tell you what I've been doing with that and what's coming with that. Need to get this turned into a truck sim. We're gonna turn this into a full blown truck sim. So I'm gonna strip this down for the bits I want. I made a decision on that. A decision? I made a decision on that that this is gonna be a dope vehicle. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you don't want it to be, but it's gonna be. If anybody wants these stacks, they are for sale. Send me a message on the uh, uh, email, truckertimvlogs at gmail.com. If you'd like those, I don't know how much they're worth, what they're worth a couple of grand, who knows? I don't really know. But I know they're worth quite a bit of money because the Eminoxes, they're quite rare though, you can't really get hold of them. The only bit of damage it's got is this here. That is the only bit of damage on them, but I think they're sleeved as well, because they do sound good. Now, this has had some new batteries fitted since we've last spoke about it on here, but there's something on this truck that keeps draining the batteries, but we don't know what it is. We've looked at everything, but something is draining them. So now when I'm not using it, I just have to disconnect the battery. If not, it gets drained, but I'm not gonna be going anywhere in it now. It, this is where it's gonna die, basically. <laughs> this is where it's gonna die. So, with this truck and the 4 Series, I don't know if you've noticed, but there is a red axle on there now. We'll get to that in a minute, we'll get to that in a minute. But, I haven't made a mistake. I haven't made a mistake. I've posted this on the main channel, but it's an uncut video. I've been thinking over Christmas what to do with the uncut video and the uncut channel. Now, let's head up here as well, because I've got some bits I want to talk to you about up here. Um, in the new year, I'm going to post like an uncut video or like a Trucker Tim weekly video where I'll film on my phone throughout the week all what I'm up to, little sneak peeks behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff, and upload that every Sunday. Every Sunday on this channel, on the main channel, I'm going to upload a little Trucker Tim weekly vlog type thing uh, with me, Sean, whatever I'm up to every Sunday next year. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. I was doing uncut videos on the uncut channel, so I'm just gonna put them on here basically, and we'll see how that goes. Let me know in the comments what you think. I did put a little poll up uh, on a uh, post on YouTube, and it was mostly people saying, well, it wasn't actually, it was sort of split half and half, but most people said keep the uncut channel. It was about 53% and 48%, something like that. So not a lot in it really. So I've decided to stick it all in one place. You know, I could have two channels, but what's the point in having two channels that are talking about the same thing, that are about the same thing? There's no point. I'll keep that channel to one side, stay subscribed. If you haven't already, head over to subscribe because if I find something else I want to do content on, cars, anything really, I'm into a lot of hobbies. I've got a lot, a lot of hobbies. If there's anything else, I'll set up a set, I'll use that channel flat and change the name. Up here, what are we gonna do up here? So, all of this here, as you know, is off that chassis down there. Now, up here is gonna be the cab off this. This is, like I just said, it's gonna be a full-blown truck sim. We'll get in the truck and talk more about that in a minute, but that is gonna come up here and go in that corner, and that is where our truck sim is gonna be. So that's gonna take up, What's that going to come sort of down there and across here? So that's where the cab will sit, trucks in. And around it, you would have seen in previous videos, well, in the previous video, actually, I collected my 114th scale RC trucks from IDWRC Customs. I've been playing with them all Christmas. They're absolutely awesome. And I thought, where am I going to be able to use these? You know, I could use them down here, but it's not, it's not great. Then I thought of this area. We could make a road and have like an RC area. Because Leo wants to play with the models all of the time and he, he loves like having a course to go around. 
Leo is my little boy if you didn't know. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do up here. I'm gonna move all this. Don't ask me where I'm gonna put it. And that go down here somewhere, but that is going soon. That is going, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But up here, I think we could do a road, um, make a look at road, and then have some construction yards, uh, truck uh, park, uh, truck tim yard. And he can like make his own course, he can build some buildings and make all little bits for his course and have that up here. And then over in the corner will be the truck sim. Or we put the truck sim up here at this end. I don't know yet, we'll, we'll work it out when it comes to it. But I think that's what I'm gonna do with this space. Cause literally, you know, it is, it's not a waste of space at the moment. You know, it's serving a purpose really, cause it's, it's storing all of these parts, but it is kind of a waste of a space as well. So that is what's gonna happen up here. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea or not, or what would you do with this space? Let me know in the comments. But obviously I was gonna have me M3 up here at one point, but that's not happening now because it needs extra support. <sighs> so it's either gonna be storage like this and just have loads of rubbish up here. Well, it's not rubbish, is it? It's a truck, it's part, part, truck parts, and that's not rubbish, Tim, no. But yeah, you know what I mean, just stuff. Or we could use it as a usable space. So I'm gonna have truck sim and RC trucks in this area. I'm also gonna put a bit of wood all the way around this, just around the bottom section, around here, so Leo can't drive trucks off the end, because I can see that happening. Trucks going <laughs> straight down there, and me shouting, Ian! We need another truck made. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do up here. Let's head down the stairs, the messy, messy stairs, and just have a little talk about this four series then. So, as you can see, uh, it doesn't look like a lot's happened, but quite a bit has happened since the last feature of the four series. A lot of you've been asking about an update. So I thought, let's do an update as well. So, all of the discs are off. All of the calipers are off now. That is a different axle, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, all the discs, all the calipers are off. All the new ones are here waiting to go on. They just sit here waiting for the brand new <laughs> calipers. Look at them. Oh, cannot wait to fit them. Cannot wait. So they're ready to go on once this gets back from Darren. So now we've got the discs off. You can see here, we need a blast. We need a blast in here now. And a little blast around all of the hubs and the, this new axle. So this axle is off the red one, believe it or not, if you haven't worked that one out. But this is where it traveled. The floor is now ruined. I am, I am aware the floor is now ruined, but I feel it tells a story. If you look at that floor, it tells a story. That is where the axle traveled across. So the axle off that one is now on this one. And the axle that was on this one is now on this one. If we go down, look underneath, there it sits. So this hasn't got any discs, calipers or anything on it. It's literally just the axle beam is on with the U-bolts there. That was a nightmare to change. Let me tell you about a forklift <laughs> or any kind of lifting, just me and Phil did it. That is coming to a video on this channel very, very soon, once this gets to Darren's, just to end off the video. But there is a very good video of us co coming, of me and Phil taking off all the discs and swapping this axle and doing all that sort of stuff. It wasn't an easy job because all of the bolts were C solid absolutely solid but the reason for the actual change you would have known if you've been following the build is in here on top of the kingpin is this little cap that just screws in there but somebody in the previous tuesday morning oh, i've just had a message tuesday morning we're doing blasting we're doing blasting on this tuesday morning so this has a thread the other side of this cap so somebody has took that cap off on that old axle and sledged through the kingpin and messed all the threads up so they couldn't put the cap back on. So they had welded, tack welded the cap on and all the threads had gone in there. So, I, let me flick the camera. So I phoned somebody, a three threader bloke and sent me some pictures and he said, look, that's too far gone really. There was hardly any thread left and the, the hole was made bigger 
without sending it off somewhere to have it done, you couldn't do it. So, and I wanted this to get to Darren's ASAP. So we decided, rather than trying to get the kingpin out and change the stub axle and what have you like that, we'll just swap the whole axle. Four U-bolts, take disconnect brakes, blah, blah, blah. Just do a quick swap. This will be the easiest, quickest way of doing it. So that's what we did. So we now have an okay stub axle with an okay cap, which is good. And the axle's a little bit better as well. But obviously that now needs blasting. That is happening on Tuesday and I'll put that in to the main channel video. Main, why am I saying that? We're not uncut anymore. It's all main. We're gonna put it on YouTube on the end, towards the end of the four series build video I'm currently filming. So yeah, that axle beam is in off the red one. We've already started basically plucking bits off this one. <laughs> already started so we got them i've also got some proper these are proper um u-bolts they're not ones they're like from scania they're proper ones they've got the proper length now if you looked at the other ones i had loads of thread poking out the bottom here on the old ones and that wasn't right these are proper four series ones so you ain't got all the extra thread coming out the bottom so they're proper ones this needs a blast and yes we are blasting in the unit. We're blasting in the unit, guys. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't really know why, but I just want it done. I can wait till it's on the trailer and down Darren's, but I just want to get it done. So it's just gonna, I don't know when it's gonna to get to Darren's. It was gonna be there before Christmas, but he's got a wrecker in there at the moment that is uh, overrun slightly. So he couldn't fit me in. So first couple of weeks of January, it should be going there and then I can release the four series build video to you that we've been doing and the whole move over to Darren's I'm going to take the cab at the same time from Sean's as well it'll all go together and what Darren will do is he can finish off filling for me because I'm fed up of it I just think got the time for it or the patience it's very very tedious so <laughs> send it to Darren he's going to do it and uh, yeah get it all smoothed all smoothed in here and it will all be smoothed and he'll paint it blue. It is all going my blue. So it'll be all blue with black, fresh black pipes against it. And oh, it's gonna be looking good. So he'll paint it and then it'll come back. While this one is out at Darren's, I'm gonna get all of the trucks out and get someone in to clean this floor because it is a right state. Look at it, absolute state. But once this is gone, that is all the dirty work done. Apart from the stripping down of this, but there's no, not going to be any more blasting done in here. I did say that last time, but there's still going to be some, one, some more blasting done in here. So, yeah, once everything's, we'll get, once that's gone, we'll get everything out, give this floor a really good clean, see how badly damaged it actually is. Obviously, you know, you ain't going to clean that out. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, it's going to happen. It's a workshop, isn't it, really? It's not a museum, it's a workshop. So I was always expecting it to happen. But, yes, so then... Give it a clean, and then once it's clean, this one will go there. So we'll back that into there, and the strip down process can start. Me and Phil can start stripping this down, plucking all the bits off we're gonna want and gonna need, all the good bits, take the stacks off, uh, take all the wind kit off, because I want all that, but the actual, like I said, the cab will be going up there. How are we gonna get up there? I don't know, but we'll work that out. We will work that out. And then, yeah, so that will go there. And then when this comes back from paint, it will go where this one is. So that will go there. And we can wheel that about if you want to get this one out and what have you. But once that's all got the bits off, I can sell bits as well. If people want any four series bits, let me know. Um, and you're more than welcome to have any bits that I don't need. No problem. And then the chassis and whatever's left of it will probably I'll either sell if someone wants a chassis. Or it'll just go to scrap was waiting. So yeah, I know it's a shame because it's a classic. I am fully, fully aware, but you know, these must. I'm gonna put the classic badge on it because it will probably be, you know, it'll probably be 60% a classic truck anyway <laughs> at the end of it. So we'll keep the badge, we'll keep that. We need to look at the grills and all the other plastics, see what's better, the blue one or the red one. Right, this red, <coughs> this red. <coughs> This red grill 
you know, I've got that red grill and I've got the blue one down there. Look at both, see which one's better and use whichever one's better, basically. But yeah, let's have a little look inside and talk about what we're going to do with this. Well, you know what we're going to do with it. We're going to make it a truck set. But I want to talk through a little finer details with you about how it's going to be. Also, all of this this year needs to be done by, 20, by the end of next year. I want the four series done this year. <laughs> this time next year, it should be done. I hope, I hope. It's just such a mammoth task. You wouldn't, you just don't understand what is involved in a truck restoration. It is mammoth. But next year I want that done. The Volvo build that is currently at Marks will be done for Lincoln, Truckfest Lincoln. A lot of you have been asking what truck shows I'm doing next year. The two I can tell you I'm doing is Truckfest Lincoln and Assen. Going to Assen next year, that's an amazing show. Going to Assen and Lincoln, they're the only two I've sort of confirmed so far. But I will be doing more and I'll keep you updated along the way. So yeah, get the, the Volvo build done at Marks, that will be done for Lincoln. Um, he's going to be on that in January, first couple of weeks of January, because he's finished off all these other jobs he had going on in the background that he had to get done before Christmas. They're done, so he's straight on that in January. We'll head over there, do some updates. And then once that's done, we can then get on with the Volvo FH V8 build. So yes, I am putting, so this engine is a 164 engine. This 164 engine is gonna go in this. And the 144 engine that is out of this is at marks with the Volvo cabin chassis that I bought from Laura Exports not too long ago, orange and blue. That is gonna go in there. So Mark is gonna put it in, take the cab off it, put this, the chassis into his unit. And we're gonna hover over the 144 engine, over the Volvo chassis and see where we're gonna to need to make new mounts and things to make that fit in the truck. And then we'll take it either to, well, we could leave it at Mark's, Mark reckons he'd like to have a go, or Sean might come to Mark's and help, um, help Mark as well at NW Engineering to get it all plumbed in, wired in and working. So we can have a Volvo FH V8. And I'd like that to be done next year as well. That'll probably be June, July time, hopefully in the summer that'll be done, I'd like to say. So that is the next job for Mark after the Volvo build he's currently doing. But he might have a little tink tinker of that as well, you know, as and when he can, but he's like, he's so busy. My trouble is guys, I'm running a YouTube channel, which is very, very hard work, as I keep telling you. <laughs> I'm trying to run a YouTube channel as well, which is really hard work. And I haven't, I haven't got, I really, I'm, I've learned a lot, don't get me wrong, since I left Data Show, I've learned so much about trucks I didn't know like before I left, but I still haven't got just that enough knowledge really, or time to just crack on do it myself. I just haven't got it, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm still learning. And all the people that have got the knowledge, Sean, Market MW Engineering on the engineering side, Sean on the Phil as well on the mechanical side of things, we, they haven't got the time. They don't work for me, like solidly. They've got other things they're doing, other jobs. Sean's flat out, Mark's got other little bits he's doing. And, I'm sort of in their hands, really. Like, I can't push these projects on further without them. I need them and they're busy. So I've even got to try and employ them, which I'd love to do. Just employ them, come here, work here for me and just do all my stuff. But it's, it's one of them, because it's YouTube, it's not guaranteed forever. I don't expect this to last forever. And then when I decide or it's not working anymore, or whatever happens in the future that, you know, I can't do this. I've got to stop doing YouTube. That's like, oh, bye Mark, but, you know, and Josh, Josh as well. Bye Mark, bye Josh, bye Phil. Mark, Josh and Phil would be awesome on the channel. They would just like crack into my stuff and it'd be epic. Like, the videos would be awesome. Stuff would get done. I'd be able to give you guys viewer satisfaction quicker for getting stuff done. But I can't, I can't do that because if this all goes whoop, one day, which, you know, I'm expecting it to tail off one day, you know, unless I can keep it fresh. Like, just to say, well, you ain't got a job now. You know, it's not guaranteed. But unless the chat, you just don't know what's happening in the future. Who knows what 2024 will bring? Like I said in a previous video, at the end of 2022, I didn't expect to happen. I didn't expect what happened in 2023 to happen. So at the end of 2023, who knows what happened in 2024? 
We need some staff, though. We do need some staff on the channel to just bang my stuff out to give you guys satisfaction. Because I know, I know you watch my videos to follow my journey and the builds, and I know I'm not really giving you what you want at the moment. I'm not really, you know, I know I'm not. I'm not giving you what you subscribe for. Like this, this has been going on like nearly what over a year now. Two years. I can't really remember. But yeah, we're, we're making progress slowly. We will get there. Stay subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you like it as well, guys. And just hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss anything in the future. But let's hop in here quickly and just talk about my plans with this. Well, you know what the plan is. But... So, currently over at Mark's as well, I've got my um, truck simulator steering wheel where the wheels come off and Mark's made a boss on the end of it. So he can bolt this steering wheel. Does this come off it? This comes off it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's minging. So yeah, he's made a boss. So you can literally just bolt this steering wheel to the truck's, the truck simulator thing motor so that will go there and then you'll use an actual scania steering wheel as you know, you'll use the actual scania steering wheel as your steering wheel in the truck sim also i'm gonna get someone in who knows a lot about uh simulators and um, i think it's pcb boards or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure so you can actually these will be your indicators in the truck sim That'll be flashy lights. This will be cruise control. These will be your window wipers on the truck sim. Uh, and every switch in here basically will marry up to the truck sim. And I've had a good idea as well. Take this to truck it. Well, get Ant to come here. I won't be taking this anywhere. Get Ant from Trucking Sounds to here. And he'll put in some upgraded speakers, a subwoofer in here somewhere. So all of the noises from the truck sim will be in the cab with you. And the PC tower that will run the simulator will be in here. Those lockers won't be in here because um, I want them in that one. Uh, we'll put the truck, the PC in here that will run the truck sim. Up here, we'll have a projector. Well, it won't be up there, would it? Because that's not going to be in here. But in here somewhere, a projector, which will shine onto this bit here. Put us like a, a, like a, um, a, what they put, like a screen across to project the projection onto it. So you feel like you are literally driving a truck on the road and you'll be in a truck we might even be able to get air to the seats so the seats are like bouncy um but everything will be contained in here the pc tower and everything and the cab will be on a plug just literally plug it in and all the power comes to it and you are away and mrs trucker tim had a really good idea as well we could take this to truck shows if we can get it down from up and down from there easy enough we could take this to truck shows and i've had an idea we could get Mark to make a frame up on wheels. Get him to make a frame up for this to sit on so we can wheel it about um, and take it to truck shows. So you guys can have a go in the truck sim at truck shows. So we'd have to take the doors off. Probably wouldn't be able to have the doors on. Although I would like the door so you could get in and shut the door. But we might have to cut the bottom of this door here because of how it's going to sit. Unless it could, maybe not though. Because you could probably put it on and then raise it up on the frame, make the frame so it sits properly so you can still get the doors open because you've got, you've got to think the bottom of the cab is here. This is like the bottom of the cab and then your door goes like lower than the bottom of the cab so you wouldn't get your door open. But Mark could probably make a frame up. It's good to have the door so you can get in and shut the door. Uh, if you know anything about, uh, if you know anything about truck sims, please get in the comments or send me an email, truckersimvlogs at gmail.com. Uh, if you know about PC boards or making all the stuff in there work and relay with the trucks in, you have to get some professionals in for that, I think. But yeah, what else have we got here? Ooh. I think we've sort of covered everything, really. I just want to give you guys a little update. And I just noticed a little cable tie. Look, look at that. That's Phil, look. He cut his cable tie off. Let me get a pair of snips. We'll do that on the uncut video. Snips, snips. Here we go. We want to, 2024 is the year. 2024 is the year to get stuff done. 